So I haven't gotten anything yet. I've had to decline a couple of orders, including a Walmart order. <laughs> um, but I was thinking back to the subway order where somebody had picked up the order and I was the fourth driver to come in to get that order. I'm getting another offer. Wendy's 1.8 miles, $6. I'm gonna decline that because Turn left. my Wendy's over here, the lobby has been closed early, I think due to limited staff and it's just the drive-thru and I don't wanna wait in that drive-thru for $6. Granted, the miles are good. <laughs> they are good, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna head back into my zone where the restaurants are. Here comes a Grubhub. Oh, absolutely not. $4.09 for three miles. This is, um, Grubhub and absolutely not and I have an uber coming in too This is what happens um, They're all coming in dash or uh, doordash too. So uh, This one is for Panera 7.6 miles Six dollars and 94 cents. Absolutely not. Let me pull over to the school. Let's see what doordash has Taco Bell same with Taco Bell 3.1 miles, 6.75. I'm I'm not gonna take the risk right now, and I'm gonna say too small for me. They're coming in, so ooh, what's this? What is this? Barnes. I have to go out to Barnes. You know what? Cedar Mill. This isn't horrible. Barnes. I know where Barnes is. Eighteen dollars. I'm gonna take it. $18.82. It is 10 miles. It's higher miles. I know the area. I, you know, with the higher miles, I got to watch out because it might take me out to the country and I do not want to go out to the country at all. Um, so it's going to take me closer to Portland, but I'm not going to be in Portland. I'm still going to be somewhat into my vicinity. I just got to hit the freeway and drop off. A little riskier order, but it is the afternoon. $18 and some change and it's a jack-in-the-box that way they're pretty good so I should be able to get the order and go keep these wheels moving but what I, what I was saying is um, in regard to the subway order when another driver's picked up the order typically we can go into the I think it's like a, a red triangle and there's an option I believe it's somewhere along the lines that another driver's already picked up the order and you'll hit that and what happens is it's gonna reroute the order to be able to get compensated Give Uber Eats a call and have them cancel the order out. Then you're compensated. If you hit that triangle and hit another driver's picked it up, two things are going to happen. One, you're not going to get compensated. And two, it's going to send the offer out to another driver and it's going to go on and on until somebody calls it in. So you want that compensation, give it a call, give them a call, at least at the time of this video. This is how I've been doing it and it's worked and I get my $3 compensation. It usually shows up immediately and, um, and then you're paid for canceling out the order and it doesn't keep getting sent out. So <laughs> just a little tip, but let's go get this order, get this dropped off. It says it should take me, I think, what did it say? 15 minutes to do this, $18. I don't know if I mentioned it's, it's Uber Eats. So, um, yeah, 50 minutes, 10.5 miles. I'm familiar with the area. It's uh, you know, I don't like taking these, these miles, but, um, we're gonna do it. I'm pretty sure I know where the area is. It's not in the country from what I can tell, as long as it ain't in the country. Uber Eats sometimes gets a little scary because sometimes you, you can't really zoom in on these either. So, you know, you just gotta kinda do your best and of course knowing your area helps. So we're gonna go get her done. We're gonna see how this goes. So <laughs> let's go check in with a Jack in the Box. Yes, Alex D. Uber Eats. Okay. Are you still working on it? Yeah, no. Okay. okay. There's a the Sprite. Perfect. And is the yeah. straw on the back? Okay. Cool. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I got the Jack in the Box order, got the drink. <laughs> um, and so I'm gonna hit next pickup. Let's see where we gotta go next. Applebee's, okay. 
And there's the part of the miles, 3.9 miles. So this is, isn't even looking too bad. And Applebee's is pretty good, at least with the Uber Eats for me. So um, let's see here. All right, 11 minutes until we get to Applebee's. Um, this order ain't looking bad. So I am happy so far. So uh, let's go get her done. Hi there. I am, let me double check the name. I'm gonna go with Faye J. Okay. <laughs> Thank <back>. you. <laughs> All right, we didn't even have to call the camera right out. I guess the, the curbside is empty anyway, so they must have seen me pull up on camera. Uh, hopefully it's ready. I think it should because it took me a minute to get over here. <laughs> see what she got for us. Let me see if there's any drinks. Awesome. Let me put it in the trunk because I got my setup. Cool. Come on the back. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, so the drinks stay safe. They don't yeah. go flying all over the curb. Thank you so much. Yeah, Appreciate it. I love your color of your hair, too. Thank you. Super cute. All right, I guess I was wrong. There was drinks included in this meal. <laughs> uh, what did they get? Oh, a kid, two kids meals. So that must be what it was. It's hidden in the order and I can't see it. That happens sometimes. It does. At least they remembered because <laughs> I can't see it. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's go get this dropped off and, uh, let's see who the first drop off is. I'm going to hit start delivery. So Faye, the Applebee's order is, um, 10 minutes, 3.4 miles. And I'm trying to see, leave it door. And it looks like a house. So, um, yeah, let's go get her done. All right, Applebee's order is dropped off. Easy to find, smooth delivery. So um, Jack in the Box, that's the other order we have. That is up next, five minutes around the corner, 1.9 miles. This was not a bad order at all. So <laughs> we are doing good and I didn't have to get on the freeway. So I was able to take the back road. So this order definitely worked out. And um, let's go get this Jack in the Box dropped off. In one mile, proceed straight on Northwest Barnes Road. All right, the Jack in the Box order is dropped off. It's another apartment complex. The GPS took me right to their building. So it's not a building that had necessarily building numbers, but it did have an address and I was able to find it right away, which is a plus, my kind of apartment complex. So let's see what else we can get. I'm gonna head back to the zone and hopefully we can catch something on the way back. All right, I've had to do uh, some declining. <laughs> not so good of orders coming in. There goes DoorDash. Um, it's 3.16 p.m. It usually drops off during this time. So I was like, I'm just gonna take a spin around and DoorDash was real quiet. So I was like, huh, go in there. Of course they paused my dash. <laughs> so they're throwing me an offer. I already have one, 4.2 miles, $5.25. We already know, absolutely not. Let me decline that and put uh, too small. So I ended up taking an order from Uber Eats, 7.7 .7 miles, $15.37. Yeah, I, I do have to pick up for from two places. So I am going to go ahead and go do this right now. It is kind of, now they're all coming in. <laughs> Pasta Getty, 3.2 miles, $6.03. So I'm taking this uh, $15 order go get her done. It looks like I got to, let me turn off all these apps. They're all coming in like crazy. <laughs> First they're dead and quiet and low orders. And, uh, now they're coming in. So let me end my dash for right now. Okay. Let's go pick up this Uber Eats order. I think the first pickup is Jack in the box. Let me double check that. No, Dickie's barbecue. Okay. 
We're going to Dickie's. It's over across the street. And I think Jack in the Box was the second one, but I must be closer to Dickie's. So let's go get this order, get this dropped off, and hopefully pick up another one. Hi there, I have a Uber Eats pickup for Joseph B. Perfect. Awesome. Love the nails. Thank you. <laughs> have a good day. All right, the order was ready. That is a major, major plus. Sometimes, uh, recently with Dickies, sometimes the order ain't ready and they make it when you get there, but lately they've been good. So it's been kind of here and there. I'm, granted, they've probably been short staffed. I know a lot of places are. So, we are going to hit next pickup if i'm correct it's jack in the box it is jack in the box so eight minutes 2.6 miles is it the one i was just at earlier no it's a different one okay uh we're gonna go get it and with dickies they had a drink and they had the drink ready which is a plus gotta make sure you get the customer's drink all right guys let's go get this uh next order picked up arrived we have arrived to jack in the box Hi there, I have a Uber Eats pickup for Fredis Vinda C. Okay, second one, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the lobby doesn't look opened, and I know it wasn't yesterday, so I hit up the drive through and uh, they let me come on through. So sometimes they're like, you need to come inside um at some of these places even though the dry, the inside don't look uh open so it's a risk <laughs> that's an order and a half yeah, the biggest order and kind of oh my day. gosh i know yeah. <laughs> thank you Oh man, there it's a big one. Thank you yeah, so much. Day, you too. Bye bye. OMG. She said it was the biggest order she's had for the day. So let me uh, pull over right here and uh, put this order in the back. So let's see how far this customer is. It was 10 items and. Uh, it's a big one, so, and it took me about eight minutes to get through the drive-thru. So, let's go ahead and see how far. Let's hit start delivery. Who's the first to drop off? Let's see here. Joseph, he's in an apartment. It's the Dickies Barbecue, which is in the back. Text and I'll come to parking lot, north parking lot. Alrighty then, let's, uh, let's get this show on the road. How's it going? Hi. All right. All right. There's your drink. And how's your day going? Not bad. How about you? Not bad either. It's sunshine, so not pouring down rain, which is perfect. <laughs> All right. There you are. You so Have a good night. All right. Dickie's Barbecue is dropped off. The customer did uh, meet me out on the corner of the complex. I did message them um, on the way here that I was on my way. So they were already out on the corner giving me a wave as I was coming into the complex. Uh, now, granted, I couldn't stop right there where he was at because it's kind of the entrance where there's a lot of traffic of cars coming into the complex. And I would probably get some horn honking and maybe a yell out the window. So I was like, I rolled down my window, I told them, let me pull off over to the side, threw on the hazards. That way I'm not causing a, a traffic jam or any issues trying to get him his food because I do keep the food behind me. So, um, and he had a drink and I don't want to have him out in the middle of the road and all that. So he got his order. He is happy to have his food and um, Jack in the box, the big order. That is two minutes away. 0.7 miles. So this is not a bad order. I do have another apartment. It looks like they provided me with the building number. Love it when the customer does that. And I have the apartment number. It looks like it's um, a ground floor unit, which is a plus two. So hopefully it'll be easy to find. Let's go get this customer there. Uh, Jack in the box. Yes. Let's see. 
three levels. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, I found it. I was counting the levels to make sure uh, I knew where I was going. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> The Jack in the Box order is dropped off. Oh man, uh, those were some big drinks. And um, so I'm going to the apartment, it was ground floor, thank goodness. So I got the bag, got the, the the drinks, which were pretty heavy. And I had my phone in my pocket and of course the Uber is ringing me with another order. I can't, I can't even check what it is because my hands are full, I'm trying to get to this apartment. Anyways, order's dropped off and I think it's time for a bite for myself. So I'm gonna take a little break, pause all the apps and then come back out here for dinner. Feel like i got some good orders in today i you know i'm feeling good about it <laughs> so that's a plus granted i'm not going to be out very late tonight um probably for a few hours i'm thinking about eight o'clock is what i'm thinking cut off time i gotta set a cut off time for myself because <laughs> when those orders keep coming in you want to stay out but uh i think i'm going to stay out till eight so it is about 358 right now i'm going to call it uh, a pause for a moment and um see you guys soon <laughs> 